Now once we have uh, done with the installation of OpenShift in your Eclipse, uh, we have also run this application on server. Now let's make some changes on the client side. So in your local copy, instead of saying welcome to OpenShift, I will say welcome to Telesco Learnings just to see the effect if it is changing on the server or not. Even if I save this application on this on the client side and if I go back to my server and if I refresh the application, you can still say it is welcome to your JBoss AS application to OpenShift. Oh, sorry, I have changed. Unfortunately, instead of changing this, I have changed the title. Okay, let me change this title. I want to change the data which is here. So welcome to is that here okay now if, if I save this on this side even if I refresh you can see the same thing welcome to your JBoss I want to change this okay F to for, for that you have to send this copy to the server now how to send so we have to use something called as push but be but before pushing we have to commit now this is a funder of uh, get here so we have to right click and there's an option of team and in team there is option of commit so first you have to say commit and you have to enter your name and email id you can enter any value there click on ok now it will ask you for a message i will say this is the first commit and then it will show you the files you have changed okay so you have to take all the files or anything you want which is changed now don't just say commit say commit and push so it will commit the it will it will commit the changes so you can see it will send your data to git repository uh, so just don't just commit also say push it will send your data to the openshift server now it will take some time for pushing so now i've just fast forward the, the uh, video so that you will you, it will not waste your time so once we uh, once we have done all the changes it will show you the uh, the commit number so this is my first commit and Simply say OK. Now your server is been changed. If I refresh the page now, you can see it says Welcome to Telesco Learnings. So that's how you make changes to your Git server. But you will say, OK, this is just a HTML page, right? What if you want to make a dynamic changes? Let's like say you want to make it as JSP page. So what we can simply do is in your Eclipse, let's create a new page. So you can just right click on this web app. We'll say new. Oh, uh, okay. So let's say new. What we want to get a JSP page. So just say new JSP page, and we'll name this page as uh, maybe calc dot JSP, where we'll add two numbers, a typical JSP JSP example. So we'll say a scriptlet here, and we'll take two variables. One is int i equal to six. I equal to six, and then we have one more value, which is int j equal to eight. And let's add these two values. We'll add it and we'll also print it. So we'll say print ln and we'll say i plus j. So it will print this value on the server side, which is i plus j, which is 14. Right? So once we have done the changes, let me just show you this output on the server side. If I if I don't push, just say index, not index, it is calc dot jsp if i say enter so it will say uh http status 404 because it's not still uh, it's still not there on the server side go back to eclipse right click again say team and then you have to say commit and push we'll name this as uh, second commit you can you can give any message just for the verification you have to select the file you have changed which is calc dot jsp this time say commit and push Okay, so after forwarding the video, we have this, which is second commit, we'll say OK. And the changes is been done on the server side. Now this time if I say slash calc.jsp, if I say enter, and we should see 14. So you can see this output here, which is 14. Simple, that's how you make changes on the client side and you have to, every time you have to push on the server side. Now the advantage will be, if you have a friend who want the same project, he can just open his Eclipse, he will log in with your account, OpenShift account, and then you can simply say pull. Now we are, this time we are pushing, right? He can say pull, he will get the same uh, project. If he, he, makes, if he, if he makes some changes, 
and then again he will push on this our side you can pull it the, and you will see all the changes which your friend has made and that's the amazing thing about git okay so yeah that's how you change change your code on the server side so that's from this video uh, in the further tutorials we'll talk about how to create a spring application spring mvc application with database mysql and we'll deploy that on the server side which is on top on the open shift so thanks for watching and do subscribe if you have liked it video just do the thumbs up there thank you